now welcome to the NEWS program that's coordinated by the Erasmus project. Today we are going to see some of the news articles that the students have written during the year and the UNESCO places that they have visited. We will start with the news articles. Enjoy the show. Irena Sendlerova, uh, Irena Joshi Krepech, Alfreda Markovska, Joshi Takvic, Oroska Schindler, just to name but a few, are those unknown heroes who save thousands of Jews from the death under the Nazi regime in Poland. Irena and Joshi Krepech kept 30 years on their farm, helping them and providing them with fake identities. Death penalty was the punishment for helping Jews in Poland, so they ran a great risk. Irena Solerova was a social worker who saved more than 2,500 people from the death, noting them down and keeping their real identities buried in her car. Alfreda Markowska, who worked on the railways, saved 50 children for transport to the death camp. Uh, George Dubwich, a German naval attaché in Denmark, due to his cooperation with war criminal Werner Best, found out about a plane mount hunt for the Jews in Denmark. He arranged a mass departure for the Jews to Sweden, which saved about 8,000 of people. Uh, that almost the whole community of Danish Jews. Some of these people were awarded the prestigious title of Righteous Among the Nation, which is the highest distinction Israel gives to people who save Jews from Holocaust. Oskar Schindler is amongst them. We took the notice of the article written about by our Italian friend Dishana. It's about attacks that kill editorial staff of Charlie Hebdo in 2015. 11 people were killed and another 11 hurt. Islamic terrorists attacked in response to cartoons which ridiculed the Islam and were published on the magazine. After that, a lot of users of social networking sites put an entry, Je suis Charlie which means that they feel sorry for the victims and despise the attack. The issue raised by Dishana is both controversial and very important, as it focuses on the free speech. It's a crucial topic to our project and we all should consider it. The author of the article tried to answer her own question of limits of free speech. She explained her point of view. She said, I would say that journalists have all the rights but should not be offensive towards others. Five vets at Bangkok University conducted a six-hour uh, surgery on a 25-year-old uh, green turtle, nicknamed Omsin, to remove a total of 915 uh, coins weighing uh, 5 kilograms from a 59 kilograms turtle. Uh, the vets of the Bangkok University sent the animal to a hospital for a checkup as it was uh, swimming sideways without using its left leg. That is how they discovered the problem. It was a very difficult and challenging task, but the surgeon succeeded uh, in removing the coins from the turtle's stomach. This is the main reason for which I chose this article. I was impressed by the kindness of some people who wanted to help the turtle, even if uh, it was a risky surgery. Kenneth Dagdiburen, who is a junior fellow at the Harvard University Society of Fellows, has invented a device that can diagnose skin cancer under the time of 10 seconds. It shows whether the skin can develop cancer cells or not. The device is produced under a microscope and is very thin and detached to the body like a tattoo. They get the results on a computer through a colorful map. Can and Dagdiren conclude that if her dream comes true, the device will be shipped from Turkey to the Middle East and people will get be employed through Turkey. So me and my classmates used this article, New Sport Discipline, because we like sports and we were really fascinated by this article because we think it's very interesting. The first sport we noticed was the wave carrying, a really popular sport in Finland and the, it consists that the husband has to carry uh, his wife on his, back, on his back and at the end the winner wins some beer, as much beer as his, his wife weighs. And it's a really weird sport, however we would like to try and see it. 
and we think that um, it could, this sport could improve the relationship between husband and wife because in order to win the couple must have a really good relationship and a really good complicity. Another interesting sport is chess boxing. It was practiced in France for the first time and uh, where the contestants took part in it for 11 rounds and it's difficult for us to combine chess with boxing because chess is a very static sport while boxing is a very dynamic sport so what makes this sport difficult more difficult is to is to combine the ability of mental and physical efforts at the same time practicing sport is really important and in order to be healthy and stay in shape Every sport is important, even the strangest one. The tragedy uh, from Collective Nightclub. Uh, the fire happened at the Collective uh, Club in the Romanian capital Bucharest. Government officials said 27 people were killed and nearly 200 are injured. Uh, fire believed to have started when fireworks were let off as a part of the show. The blaze broke out around 11 p.m. last night at the Collective Night Club where according to witnesses between 200 and 400 youngsters had gathered for a performance by rock group Goodbye to Gravity.